guys, MJ Hoffman here, and um, today we have the patch notes for Madden 22. Uh, the patch notes just came out today. I think this is patch note number five, and um, they did some pretty crazy stuff. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. So um, as you guys could tell by the thumbnail, they fixed an issue in cover three with the outside deep third corner leaving fade routes wide open instead of covering a corner route. So I'm going to show you guys that here in a couple minutes after we go over all this. Um, pretty much everyone's schemes are completely screwed right now that runs cover three beaters, whether that's out of the Washington playbook, the Seahawks playbook, um, gun bunch tight end, gun bunch, uh, YU trips. Like, it, it messed up a lot of stuff, which is good. Madden's finally taken, you know, taken account for stuff that they should have done a long time ago. What else? Fix an issue causing cover three to fail in covering a hot route streak from the slot out on the play gun bunch verticals. So that was patched probably three patches ago. I haven't run it. I mean, I haven't ran it since then, but I mean, at least they did that anyway, so they fixed it still. Fix an issue causing cornerbacks playing outside deep thirds while aligned in the press to turn incorrectly after bailing deep, allowing deep routes to go behind them. Which is also, again, a really crazy thing that they've done. I, honestly, I can't believe they did it. Like, usually Madden never patches coverages. I mean, it like, we all can agree, coverage is horrible this year. It, it, it's dog shit. It is, honestly. Um, I feel like you guys don't, like, well, me personally, I don't get rewarded for playing good defense. When I play good defense, I bag everything up. Someone still gets open. They've made defense nearly impossible to run. Every game's a shootout, which sucks unless you're sending five. And when you're sending five, you have no coverage. So the fact that they did this helps cover three a lot because cover three was before this patch the worst coverage in the game. So um, fix an issue causing cover four defenders to sometimes not run to the catch point versus deep routes while transitioning to a match to an assignment. So this is for plays like uh, clear SE out or clear FL out, like cover four palms, cover four quarters. So that's cool. Um, what else is big here? Alignment. We're not really worried about alignment. Fix an issue allowing defenders to obstruct receivers from running their routes after getting beat on a route cut, leaving the receiver unable to effectively avoid. Okay, whatever that means. Here's another big one. Remove the user-controlled ability to release a tight end on the delay fade hot route. I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like now. They have completely patched it, so delay fades are still a thing, if you can't tell right here. You will still be able to hot route your tight end to a delay fade, but you will no longer have control over when the tight end releases. You will now see the tight end on the delay fade, pass set, fake the block, and then release into the route after a short duration of time. I think that short duration of time is probably three seconds. Like, they, they go right away. So, I mean, that's good. They got rid of the speed glitch that I showed you guys, so I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Fixed an issue allowing user control defenders to get an unnatural speed burst at the snap while holding a combination of buttons. So, that's gone now. Good. I, I didn't really care for it that much anyway. Prevented pump fakes during RPO alert bubble screen handoffs, which was allowing a QB scramble exploit. So today I played against Michael Vick and there is a play called the QB RPO power wrap. And it was absolutely burning me today. That, that is post patch. That play is still really good, but I'm glad that they're finally starting to do something about these RPOs. They're annoying. They're not good. Like you don't have to be good at the game to get first downs all the time. Tuning to increase non-engaged pass rush moves by AI pass rushers on all Madden, all pro difficulty levels. Um, okay, that's cool. Um, as you guys know, pass rush is awful this year unless you send five. For some teams, it's really good. Other games, it's really bad. For my team, personally, specifically, they're horrible. They never get to the quarterback, so that's cool that they added that. And um, everything else in here, fix an issue preventing play art from appearing when the Omaha X Factor was active. I hope that's fixed. I really do. Because I'll show you guys in this video what that is and why that's going to be the best X Factor this year. So I'm going to show you guys later in the video for that. Uh, this is franchise. This is all next gen, by the way, guys. They did do some stuff for current gen. Um, if you guys want me to go over current gen, I can. Just let me know in the comments. But I'm next gen, so I don't really feel like I need to unless you guys play current gen. So, so they did the delay fade on uh, uh, current gen. Um, but nothing to cover three. I guess cover three wasn't as bad as it was. So that's cool. Um, yeah, God, so that's, honestly, this is a really good job by EA. I'm happy that they did this, especially right before the, uh, ladder for the wild card Thanksgiving MCS. That's pretty cool. So, uh, let's get into the gameplay real quick so I can show you guys what everything looks like now. And so you guys understand what's going on. All right. So here we are. This is, uh, the cover three beaters that they were talking about in the patch notes. Put Adam Thielen on a corner route and usually B would get wide open every single time. I'm going to call Hut. And as you can see here. He's just, RB will still get open, so that's good, but they've, they've completely taken this play away, which is good for them. Honestly, that's great. Um, he won't get any separation now. 
uh, the, it seems like the middle safety is playing it really good. And the deep safety is playing it really good, too. So A will get picked up, B will get picked up, RB will still get open, depending on what their cloud flats are on. So go, good for EA, man. All right, I want to go uh, go over the tight end delay fade for you guys now, just so you guys know what it looks like if you haven't played yet. Maybe you're working, doing something, just haven't played. So you're on a delay fade. He goes right out. Literally just right out. So delay fade cheese is no longer a thing. Seriously. Um, my suggestion to you is just block the tight end now. Like, uh, let's see. Wait, a block and release? Yeah, let's do a block and release cross, see what that looks like. So he's just going to come right out of it. Yep, yes he is. So yeah, no, it's completely gone. Um, like I said, that's good for EA, man. At least they're finally cracking down on this stuff that they need to take care of. Um, the Vernon Davis glitch was crazy. They just... They take a long time usually doing stuff. Yeah, see? There he goes. He was blocking there, and then he came out. So it just depends on if he gets caught on a block. If he gets caught on a block, it seems like he'll stay in longer, and then he'll go out. If he doesn't get caught on a block, he'll just go out right away. See? He didn't get caught on the block. He goes out right away. He drops the ball. So um, cover three, delay fade, gone. Cover three is amazing now. I would I'm going to start using it. Maybe have some gameplay for it, show you guys what to do to make it look good. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. Um, Yeah, guys, it's crazy. Delay fade, done. And even cover three is low-key kind of bagging. PA boot over. So, um, yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of this stuff. Um, I'll have something coming out this weekend. I'm not sure what it's going to be exactly. I guess we'll just figure it out. Um, Yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, all you got to do is just like the video. That means a lot to me, even one like on a video. I don't get a lot of likes, so I'm not too concerned about it. But uh, let's go for three likes on this video. If we can get three likes, then we are we're crushing it. That's all I want. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, man, like I said, just like the video, subscribe, see more content. Thank you, guys. I'm out.